You need to use this free tool now to boost FPS, lower input delay and even fix stutters or lags in all games. Hey everyone, it's Rek here and inside of this video, I'll be showing you a very useful free tool that you can use to boost FPS, fix FPS drops, lower input delay and fix any and all stutters or lags in all of the games that you play. Once again, this is another new addition to the series where I show you the free tools you can use to boost FPS and lower input delay in games. So yeah, make sure to check out the other ones on my channel too. But before jumping into the video, just take a quick second to leave a like on this video so that it can reach more people and help them as well and also hit the subscribe button because a lot of you guys are watching these videos without even subscribing but now let's dive straight into today's video so the tool i'm talking about is the auto gpu affinity tool now this mainly focuses on optimizing your cpu cores with the help of your gpu or setting the process of your gpu onto a specific cpu core if that makes any sense now in order to get this you will need to go down into the description of this video and then click on the link to download it from here this is from Emmet, and then you can just go ahead and click on this releases then it will take you to here and then all you need to do is just click on this and it will download the tool for you you can select anywhere you want i already have downloaded it so i'm gonna go ahead and close out of this and once you have it downloaded just open it up drag the folder onto your desktop or anything like that and then go into the folder once you are inside of here just go ahead and right click on start and run it as administrator now there are a couple of things that you need to know and those are that you should have the pc at idle state maybe just close everything else down and then just go ahead and use this also here are a couple of other things that are required for maintaining a consistent benchmarking environment now these are not the must but these are something that you should do if you want the perfect results you can just go ahead and read through that but once you click on this start it will just begin a process and don't freak out i know your screen will go black and your gpu will disconnect and reconnect but that's completely fine and normal then it will just do everything on its own all you need to do is just let your pc run and that's all it's going to benchmark every single core by changing the affinity and using the lib lava triangle in order to benchmark so yeah just let it be it takes around two minutes for each core so yeah that is how much time you will have to wait if you have more cores now for me i have four cores so it took around eight minutes but once you are done it should just give you something like this now this is the most interesting part now these are the results of all of the affinities that it has tested for every single cpu so in my case i have four cores so this is the cpu 0 1 2 and 3 now based on these results what we will do is set our gpu affinity to that cpu core so in my case as you guys can see that i'm getting the maximum amount of fps on my cpu 2 and i'm getting the average maximum fps on cpu 3 average minimum on cpu 3 as well 0.1 percentiles those are the highest on cpu 3 as well 0.01 percentiles are highest on the cpu 2 then 1 percent lows are best on cpu 0 however 0.1 percent lows are best on cpu 3 0.01 percent best lows are on on the u1 and same thing for the 0.005 percent lows now judging from all this the one that i should be using is probably cpu1 or cpu3 because it's not always about the maximum fps but it's always about the minimum and the average fps so if i am getting like really good 0.1 percent lows or 0.05 percent lows that just means that the fps are really consistent and my input latency will be a lot a lot better same thing with the average and the minimum fps if they are really high then i once again should be getting really consistent fps without having any issues with the fps drops if you are just confused with some of the results you can always go ahead and rerun the program it's really easy all you need to do is just go ahead and open this up run this start.bat and let it sit but once again when you have these benchmarks just look for the cpu that gives you the best 0.01 percent low as well as the 0.005 percent lows and also if possible the best minimum and average fps now once you have decided which cpu you want to use how are you gonna go and actually set the affinity well it's really simple and easy in the description i will also leave a link to the affinities pack you can go ahead and download it from my website so once you are inside of here just go ahead and open up the device manager and once it opens up i'm just gonna go ahead and quickly expand it just make sure that the view is set to devices by type then go into the display adapters expand it down right click on your graphics card and go into properties now inside of the general tab under the location just remember this like one zero zero this is the location that we will be using in order to find our gpu so mine is 100. Zero, zero. I'm gonna go ahead and click on OK, close out of this, right click on the interrupt affinity policy tool and run it as administrator. Once I'm here, I'm gonna go ahead and press N for the NVIDIA GPU since I am using an NVIDIA GPU. In case you're using a AMD GPU, just type A until you get there. But for me, I'm gonna go ahead and type in N until I get to NVIDIA GeForce GTX 750 Ti. And now what I'm gonna do is look for the location information. So it does say 100. So this is the right one. The 
the reason we are looking for location is because if i press n once again you can see that there are also audio endpoints and other nvidia stuff here as well so that is the reason we are going to go ahead and use the location so it's 100 it does say nvidia geforce gtx 750 ti so that is the right one so once you find your graphics card all you need to do is click on set mask and then just go ahead and select the cpu that you want to use in my case i'm going to go ahead and set it to cpu 3 hit ok if it gives any error just ignore it click on ok then it will ask would you like to restart the device and we're going to go ahead and click on no because we are going to be rebooting our entire pc so that it takes effect properly hit ok once again hit ok click on done close out of this restart your computer and now you should be experiencing a lot better frames and a lot lower input delay in every single game that you play so yeah that's basically it for this video if it was helpful then make sure to leave a like down below and also hit the subscribe button along with the notification bell so that you are notified whenever i upload a brand new video with that i guess i'll see you in the next one until then stay awesome